right? Shalom, 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 shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of Yahweh's only begotten Son and our Lord and Savior. Also, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect which are your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all right, the true biblical Israelites, all right, like I always show at the beginning of these videos, all right, if you see yourself on this chart, all right, you know, or let me rephrase it, if your father is uh, one of these nationalities, all right, you are uh, possibly, you know, an Israelite, all right, because your nationality is ultimately determined by your father, your father, you know, carries the seed, all right, you plan to apple seed in the ground guess what kind of tree is going to sprout out it's going to be an apple tree you know so it's the same way with us you know you are whatever your father is if you if your father so-called uh black man or in the society you know an african-american so hey, to your speak goes yeah. to, to be an israel kind you will be an israelite from the tribe of judah you know if you if you are uh, uh if your father is a so-called mexican all right that would make you yeah, an israelite from the tribe of issachar all right and then if your father is a so-called white man, all right, and you know, Edom, exactly, Esau, Edom, the, 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 uh, the nation of people that the Lord ultimately hates forever and ever, all right, you know, that's how it works, all right, you know, and not to mention you Israelites that, you know, maybe scattered into other nations that look like other nations, all right, Come. you know, because you have that as well, Come. you know, but uh, like I always start these lessons off with, you know, you are the true Israelites, all right, you know, those people over the land of Israel, they're not yeah, the imposters. Here, they're imposters, all right? They've stolen our nationality, all right? You know, the scriptures talk about how these nations, they will come together to try to cut us off from being a nation of people. Kind of, right? Psalms 83. Kind because, because, see, this system, you know, Esau, he set this system up to, you know, to destroy our people, you know, so that our people will forget who they are, you know, that, because our people, you know, we were all looking after each other, and you know, we were all into the to the Bible. We were all about our family culture, and being an Israelite was your culture, man. But see, until this damn this Edomite uh, came and destroyed every damn thing, now he done fucked everything up, man. Uh -huh. He done he done turned our people away from the heavenly Father. He done turned our women against our our men, and he done turned our uh, our our young children in the in the alphabets. And into straight uh, uh, anti-messiahs, man. You know, disrespectful. You, you know, um, envy, hateful, prideful. You know, lovers of themselves. And, and you know, and everything that that that's against the Bible, man. That that's what America is teaching, man. And, and that that that's the system that you know here in Babylon is founded off of, man. But you know, we're out here to teach the gospel, you know, which is the good news, man. And that good news is that America which is Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed, man, yep. okay? that That's the good news that's being uh, put out, okay? And that's what, we're, and see, and see that was, it was the spirit because, you know, Apostle, you know, Apostle the Bar told us, you know, to put curses up daily, you know, upon this place, man, in Hebrew, man. Tell the brothers and send it out to other brothers, man, or you sincere sisters as well, yep. you know, to put curses upon this place every day, man. Cause you know we're sick and tired of of being here in Babylon, man. We're we're, we're sighing and crying to the Heavenly Father that that Heavenly Father, we, we want out of this place. Right. You know, we want this place to be destroyed by thermal nuclear missiles, man. That's that we're looking forward to World War Three, man. Yep. That that's what we're saying, man. And that's the mentality that you're supposed to have. Cause if you're not sighing and crying, that's just a ultimate ultimately a sign that you you love being here. And you, you love know? it here in Babylon, man. Right. Now, I think I might have went into it. It might have been the camp lesson last week or it might have been the week before last. Come. You know, I was pretty much talking about how, you know, uh, I think it was last week, actually, dealing with how uh, whenever we cry out, the Lord, he delivers us from captivity. That's what happened in ancient. You know, we cried out. You know, the Lord heard our prayers. I believe that's in uh, Exodus. Uh, I forget what chapter, but it's in the book of Exodus. You know, we cried out. The Lord heard our uh, cries and our prayers. You know, he, he pretty much brought plagues. You know upon uh egypt you know so it's going to happen this time again you know so that's why it's important to cry out sigh and cry like the book of uh, ezekiel chapter 9 says 
You know, I'm gonna get that later on, Lord uh, willing. I got that scripture for you, Psalms 83. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, and you want me to start at uh, you want me to start at the top or yeah, just, a lot? Yeah, start at the top and just read on down to uh, verse eight. Okay, I got you. This is uh, this Psalms 83 and verse one. Uh, keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make atonement, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. God, so that's exactly what these uh, are enemies, all right? And what you're going to see later on in the next few verses that our enemies are ultimately the other nations. But the, uh, ultimately, what happened is that our, our enemies, then these other nations, they pretty much came together to uh, consult against the hidden ones, the hidden ones being the Israelites, all right? You know, they pretty much came together to figure out ways to cut us off from being a people so that we'll no longer remember who we are, that we'll no longer keep our law, statutes, and commandments. Because, you know, when we don't keep our law, statutes, and commandments, and we don't know who we are, we're pretty much no longer connected to our power. Right, and we're not connected to the Heavenly Father. We're connected to, to Satan and his left-hand spirits, man, God. and Esau Eden, man. Yep. Because, see, everything here in Babylon, man, is it, it, based off, you know, basically anti-Messiah, man. Like, for example, you know, you got all this, you know, the, like the obelisk, for example, man. God. Because, and I'll get that later, in Leviticus, the Heavenly Father told you not to put up obelisks, man. But guess what? Esau Edom did it anyway, man. And, and these heathen nations, they did it anyway, man. Oh, Okay. And see, e and see, Esau had our people serving and worshiping other gods, man. Okay, like for example, abortion, for example, man. You see, back in the times, you know, of old, you know, back in the times, you know, back in the, in the ancient days of old, man, they were sacrificing babies unto Molech, man. Okay, and the heavenly Father said that's an abomination, man. And that and that modern day sacrificing unto Molech is these modern day abortion clinics, man. And, and, and all through this, all through Margaret Sanger, man, who's an Edomite, man. But, but, because see, that, that that's what they're trying to do, man. They're trying to destroy the Israelites, man. And, and they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to do, do away with everything that the Heavenly Father that was created for us, man. Yeah. To to make us better, man. Yep. To, to make us to make us happier, man. Yeah. But 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 see, Esau took all that away, man. Yep. And now and, and now Esau got us depressed. You know, got us on all these, all these different, you know, prescriptions and, 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 and drugs. Esau saying that you got so-called ADHD and all these, you know, all, all this BS that they tell you. And, and, and now you got to put up with all the BS. And, and now you go to the day uh, these institutions and they tell, they put your kids on these, um, these drugs. And, and, and then some, th these parents, they don't, they don't even have a, no idea that they putting them on this stuff. And then it makes, the, and then it jacks up their kids even, even more, man. Yep. All the food and all the water is garbage that Esau done jacked up. And, uh, verse, verse four. Uh, uh, no, Salat. So yeah, yeah. They, they have said, "Come and let us cut them off, being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance." But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of now, Moab. That's a lot. You, know, now you notice the first nation that was named was Edom, letting you know that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is our number one enemy. You know, so, yeah, like like we just read, you know, the, these other nations, they came together to try to cut us off from being a nation of people. All right. And these are the names of our enemies right here. All right. Come. Um, and the her, her garn, Hagarines. Hagarines. Jabal and Ammon and Amalek. And see Amalek, which is the the, the 1948ers that the brother yeah. was, was mentioning. Yeah, which is another branch of Esau Edom, pretty much. You know, that's pretty much a so called tribe of Esau Edom because Amalek, that's the small heads. And they're a cop Oh, there you go. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, so yeah, that means yeah. they, they're, in, they're in the watch. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> and that's a different cop yeah, right that's there. a different cop That's Because di the car was red. The other yeah. one was blue. Yeah. That one is different. And I know that one it is definitely not around here. Yeah, that was St. Louis County. The other so, one was so they, uh, so they be somewhere over over there. Right. And uh, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tariq. 
uh, assured also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Lot Sel so Selah. Lot. Yeah, kind. So those are pretty much the, na the names of uh, our enemies. All right, pretty much in a nutshell, anybody outside the nation of Israel, you know, they're considered our enemies, all right? You know, Esau Eden, the so-called white man, he's our enemy, all right? You know, the uh, Hamites, all right, so-called uh, Africans, they're our enemies, all right? Moab, so-called Chinese, uh, 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 Ammonites, all right, Jap Japanese, the, all right? The Hamites? Yep, yep, you already mentioned them. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. The, what's the Arabs? Uh, uh, Ishmaelites. Ishmael. Yeah, Ishmaelites, Japhites, you know, the so-called Hawaiians and all that. Come. You know, yeah, those are all our enemies because at the end of the day, some way, somehow, they've had a hand in our oppression and in our captivity. All right, that's why when you read the book of Joel, chapter three, the scriptures talk about how the Lord is going to bring all these nations down to the valley of Yahweh Shaphat to judge them because of what they have done to the nation of Israel. All right, so these nations coming together to try to cut us off from being a nation of people, they're going to pay for that in due time. All right, we're living in those times right now because you see all these wars brewing up, World War Three, so on and, and so forth. This, this civil yeah. war and and chaos and that y'all see and I got some uh -huh. it's Jeremiah 28 verse 8 the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of the evil and of pestilence yep. and see man that's what the prophets are doing man that's what we're out here doing man we're prophesying we're letting you know what's going on in the news man okay we're giving you you know, every, when we come out here week in and week out, man, we're prophesying what's going on in the world, man. And we're giving you the warning and, and signs in, in, in the times of, of what's getting ready to come, man. And we're letting you know, you know, this evil, this pestilence. Because we see what's going on with the brain dead uh, Joe, uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden called Zelensky Putin. <laughs> and we, we already know that Esau Edom, he's going to establish... His, uh, his devilish uh, one world government so he could usher in his his devilish uh, new world yeah. order man. Right. matter of fact let me get that in, uh, Genesis and I'm going to explain to you people so you people can understand you know you know what, what the do's and don'ts are this is uh, Genesis chapter 11 and verse 1 and the whole earth was of one language and one speech and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there and they said one uh, to another go to let us make brick and burn them thor thoroughly and they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar and they said go to let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth and the and the most highest came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built and the lord said behold the people is one and they they and they have all one language and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do a uh, go to let us go down and there there confound their language that they may not understand one speak another speech because see that and that that's going into that you know their one world government man because you know Nimrod he was trying to build that tower of Babel man yep. and, and it was so long it would take like it would take days to, to go up there like it, to, to reach the top man because these people they want to be like the, they want to like 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 in the scripture like we mentioned last camp in Isaiah chapter uh the Salaki, I believe it was 14 that Lucifer wants to be like the most high man he wants to do everything the heavenly father does man but he can't but see going into this man see this devil man see through all these religions you know starting with the uh the united nations and i wanted to bring this out you know to your attention so you people could uh get an understanding it's this uh it's this it's a cultist witch name her name is alice a bailey she's the founder of lucius trust which formerly it was called lucifer's publishing company and these were her her 10 her 10 plans to basically 
de to destroy America, if you could see it for a second, and, and I can and I can read it off to you so you people can see to push their agenda 2030, so you people can understand. And she and she was also pushing all this the, this new age religions like mix mixing Muslim, uh, Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, and uh, and uh. Judaism and 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 they and they mix it all into one, man. Because see what Esau Edom, what he's getting ready to do, man. He's get he's getting ready to 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 get to get to to um to do away with the with with, with this presidency. Whether he, because I believe they're gonna do away with this presidency, because they're gonna create this order out of chaos, and it's gonna be that certain one. It's gonna be that that one person, whoever it is, they're gonna govern the whole earth, and it's gonna be under one government. One religion, one race, one gender, man. And truth be told, that's gonna all be under Satan, man, for the for the New World Order, man. O okay? Because see, once that once once Esau do, do away, whether they do away with Biden and Trump, and and get and get somebody else to be in position to, to govern that whole earth and, and, and to create these 15 minute cities, you know, do away with the dollar. And truth be told, they're gonna they're going to depopulate and kill off all the all the people man and replace them with robots man because that that was that was esau's plan all along man kind of just to add on you know he's not trying to say like it's going to just be and uh, one antichrist because like, i'm not saying it's yeah. going to be many it's going to be i'm not trying to say it's going to be one because the yeah. scriptures tell you it's going to be many but but i'm telling you it's it's a it's a it's a person in position that they're going they're going to try to have to, to do to do all the uh stuff it's so it's a lot here, yeah. And is it cool if I could read? It, it, it's gonna be cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And see, and the, this is Alice Bailey's. Um, uh, you'll never hear about this woman. Truth be told, because this woman, she's a part of, as they would say, the Illuminati. But you know, but we're, we're not gonna go too much. I'm just showing you their agenda and their plan. So this is Alice Bailey's ten point strategy of a new world order. And keep in mind, people, Lucius Trust used to be called Lucifer's Publishing Company. And in their website, they tell you that their company was to honor Lucifer, to make a sacrifice unto Satan. So they letting you know who their God is, that, that, that they're all about Satan. So all these people that are in the so-called United Nations, they're under Lucius, Lu Lucifer's Publishing. They're letting you know they worship Lucifer, man, and that they're pushing this new world order. But I'm gonna read the 10 strategies. So our first strategy, Number one is to take God out of prayer and education system. And you see that, that and you see that happening, man. Cause 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 a while back it was this woman, she tried to uh, she tried to um, you know pray and read the Bible in the school. They weren't having that, man. The school was not having that at all, man. They wouldn't they were discriminating against her just for reading her Bible, man. Just for reading the Bible and praying, man. And this is supposed to be a, a quote unquote a godly a godly a, a, a godly society man when it's the complete opposite man and here's the second um is to reduce parental authority over the children a matter of fact i got a scripture for that actually Be because see see your government that see they, they see the truth be told people they they want the, the government wants to raise your children man that's why in the scriptures it tells you to train up a child in the way that he should go. That way they won't depart, man. Right. Because these Satanists, they want to turn your children into degenerates. And you see they're doing that, man. Mm -hmm. And that, that's why they got that's why they got the man and the woman separating each other, man. That, that's why they got the woman, you know, kicking the man out or getting the man in trouble, putting him on child support so he could get locked up. So, so that there won't be a family structure and it's not built off the Bible. Then the kid will end up growing locked up in jail, shot to death or, or an alphabet person. And, 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 it's, and it's gonna be, and, and everything's gonna be fucked up, man. Everything, man. All right, let me get uh, Proverbs. It's a lot of people. Let me get Proverbs 22 and I believe it's verse four. Okay, this is no Salaki. Twenty. This is Proverbs chapter twenty-two and verse six. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So, you, listen, man, you gotta train your child 
in the way that he should go, that way he won't depart, man. You got to train your children on these scriptures, man. Okay, because this is a totally different world, man. These people out here, they, they're not the same, man. You know, these people, they're gone, man. Like, they, they, they don't have... They don't have no Bible in them. They don't have no morals. It's all, It's like they're soulless, man. Like, right. these people are gone. And they got demons on them, man. Yep. So that's why it's very important that you raise your kids, man, and teach them the truth. That's why That's why nowadays, if you try to whoop your child because your child wouldn't, won't do what you say, now you're going to get locked up for that just for correcting your kid, man. But, but see, that, that's what Esau wants, man. He wants to turn your kids into degenerates, man. Just like this, um, just like this devil said, man, and that and, that, and that's exactly what they're doing, man. Now, now you got these celebrities like Sexy Red now is raising these young little girls now to be to be ratchets, yep. and, and, and and you see the results, man. Yep. And, and and now uh, Megan Thee Stallion came out with that new uh, dance. She was throwing up the devil horns, and now everybody's doing idea. that trend. And you people, y'all have no fucking idea y'all be throwing up the devil horns, man. I mean, I mean, the, I mean, the, 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 they don't even know what the hell they doing, they man. They don't get it. That's why you got to train your kid, man. Because yeah. if you don't train your kid, these satanic celebrities will. The, the TV will. The, the government will. The Esau eat them. Your schools will, man. Yeah. That's why you got to train your kid on these scriptures, man. All you got to do, look at the Megan Thee Stallion dance. Look at it. They don't even know what the hell they doing. They throwing up. They're 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 getting initiated into the occult, and they and they don't even realize it, man. They're, they're throwing up the devil horns, and they don't even realize it, man. Cause see these people, they don't have a damn clue, man. They don't know what's going on, man. And uh, I'm gonna and then she says, destroy the traditional family structure. And see, that that's what that's the point I was trying to make. Cause see they have see. And see, like we read in the scriptures, see, Esau would do everything to try and cut our people off. Because we could see being an Israelite was your culture, man. That's That was your culture, man. And we was all about, you know, helping each other, building each other, being into the Bible, you know. Because they don't want that, man. It was all about the man, the woman, and then having the, the child. And they were all rooted and, you know, helping each other and, and you know, making sure everything was good, man. But see, these devils, man, like Alice A. Bailey, they want the complete opposite, man. They want to they, they want to have women rule over the men. And you see that going on, man. Now these women are these women are ruling everything through feminism, man. Yep. Th that demon, uh, what's that demon name? Uh uh Margaret Margaret Sanger, man, that demon. And, uh Margaret Sanger and the uh, uh Hey, I, I can't remember that. It was that Edomite feminist. I can't remember her. She was with uh, Gloria Steinem. Gloria Steinem. Gloria Steinem, who was an Edomite, and Margaret Sanger, they were the main ones that came up with feminism. And now they're telling you, Ease, that I don't need a man. And that being a man, and, and now that I am the man. And you know what's crazy? I, they got a study that's saying 45, the study says that by 2030, 45% of, of women are going to be single, childless, with no kids. Yeah, I heard about that. You yeah. can't make this up, people. They, Esau had this all set up, man. See, you women, y'all have no idea yeah. that Esau was setting you up. Y'all yeah. think that, oh, I'm a bad B. I'm independent. No, I don't need no man. man. I'm above a man type stuff. And it, honestly, it really goes back to what the scriptures say. The scriptures talk about how there'll come a time where the Lord's going to create a new thing in the earth and a woman was going to come past a man, meaning being, you know, above a man, you know, then that's what you're seeing right now. You know, this feminism, you know, women feeling like they don't need a man and all that. And then, you know, it yeah. promote, and then not only does it promote feminism, but it promotes carpet munching, basically. Yeah, it do. Yeah, it really do. When you think that's about what it, the yeah. lesbianism, that's what all this Black Lives Matter, that, that's what all of it is, man. It's feminism, witchcraft, and alphabetism, man. Matter of fact, I got the scripture right here where we're talking about this. So, uh, oh, con, con. Well, I don't know if it's the same one we're talking about. I was getting Isaiah 32 and 9. Women oh. rule, women rule over. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one, too. But I was getting one in uh, Jeremiah chapter 31. It say, uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22, it says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall come past a man. And that's what you're seeing right now. All right? You're seeing, you know, a woman, you know, being a, a above a man or ahead of the man and whatnot. 
you know, the, the whole dynamic of the, the, the family structure is all discombobulated and messed, and messed up. You know, the scriptures tell you that, you know, the, 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 the order is supposed to be Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the man, yep. you know, then and the, the woman, woman and the children. The child. That's how it's supposed to be. But as you see, which, and you see in Alice Bailey's um, agenda, she wants the complete opposite. Kind. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, it was the, where women rule over them. So, like, let me see. I think it's, was it Isaiah? I want to say Isaiah 11. Yeah, it might be. Let me see. But, but 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 you see that but you see feminism is completely be, you know be, being pushed to these women man and now majority of these women they don't even they don't even want to be with, with a man with a, with a real man they would rather be with Pookie and Ray Race you yep. know that's gonna you know spray them up and, and, and the, t the term spray that means uh, shoot basically or 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 Jake will end up being be or, or 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 the or the because these women nowadays it's, it's locking for me stutterers these so women like, nowadays, anti headlines supposed to say developing assassination attempt against Donald Trump yep headlines. I've heard that that that's that's the spirit yeah. and we're gonna go into that as well but it's been talks man that they're going to set up a Donald Trump assassination man because <laughs> see you Republicans y'all y'all don't even realize that all this stuff is all it's all rigged man it's all set up. And it's all it's all a stage and it's all an act. They're giving a script to play, man. The, the shit is not real, man. Yeah. You people really out here still voting thinking that this shit is real, man. But it's not, man. They they all have a role to play, man. And I wouldn't be surprised, man, if they get rid of Donald uh, Trump or they get rid of Joe Biden because one of them are going to be eliminated, you know, through the spirit. I believe it's possible they could get rid of Trump, man. Cause it's been a cause because a lot of them celebrities like that that one eat them like cat I forgot her name her name is Catherine something she old Donald Trump with his head uh chopped off yeah 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 hey man that 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 could be the future yeah. it could happen man because it's been a lot of and, and, and it was this guy he showed like Donald Trump in like a uh in like a uh um, like like a robot so so hey man very soon man you know it's, something big is going to happen because they're definitely going to stir up a civil war where they're going to have Democrat and, and Republican. Because y'all see, all they got all these garbage celebrities like uh, what's that demon name? Uh, oh, what's that uh, that slut demon? Uh, roll, roll, uh, uh, Amber Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now she, now she's all for Trump, and I don't know why. If you've seen like her new vid, she looked. Oh my, she looked demonic. She looked demonic. No, I ain't saying that. And and, and 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 people want to say, well, oh well, Amber Rose is good because she's against the system. You you got to be a complete fool, man, if you really think that she's against the system, man. She's all played out, man. Oh. And matter of fact, she, she 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 was promoting that old culture, man, like like sexy red in there. Yeah, the slut walk that she had. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that it she had that the, yeah. the upside down uh, on her cross on her forehead. Yep. Oh. Yes, yeah, Salaki, let me get that uh, scripture. Yeah, while you're getting that, I'm going to get the uh, scripture that talk about the order of how things are supposed to be with the family, the dynamic of the family. Come. You know, uh, yeah, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and we're going to start at verse 3. It says, By what have you know that the head of every man is the Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of the Hamashiach is Yahweh. All right, so that's the order of the family. All right, and anything outside of that order, you know, it's complete confusion. It'll never work out because if you have the woman trying to rule over, you know, the, the family, you know, and then the man being under the woman, and you it's know, complete, yeah, it's, uh, out of order. It's gonna man. be out of order. The, the children gonna be confused as hell. Huh. You know, the, the the boy gonna be effeminate. Yep. You know, the, the the little girl gonna be masculine, or she gonna turn out to be a hoe in the fifth. Yep. Exactly. You know, that's how the man will end up being a drug dealer yeah. or a killer end up dead in prison somewhere yeah man. exactly be, be, because see that's how esau set it up man now they got women pastors now 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 these women are out uh, uh preaching man that's against the heavenly father yeah, man. that's completely off you got women preachers women pastors now you got women uh controlling the man now a lot of these dudes are allowing these women to control them man yep. okay Listen, man. You the listen, man. The, the 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 woman should be asking her her husband for answers, man. 
she uh. shouldn't be the one running the stuff. Oh, well, l l like I know everything. Because, cause see, Esau put a vibration on these women to the point where it's like, if you check them and tell them the truth in the script, they hate that scripture. Because uh. they hate accountability, man. Because Esau gave them that, the, the freedom to do what they want. Yep. Or, that, or that feminism. Uh. And I got that scripture. I, it's Isaiah chapter 3, and I'll start at verse 11. Uh, Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him for the reward of his uh, for the war of his hands shall be given. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee the cause uh, thee to err and destroy the way of thy past. You uh, see, that's what you see going on, man. See, woe unto the wicked, man. Okay, you're letting your children rule. Because see, now these women think, oh, well, the man ain't shit. And then, and then they be teaching their little sons and their little daughters, oh, well, your daddy ain't shit. He ain't this and that. And then now now the kids think that. Now they, they can rule, you know, you know, the father, man. Well, the father is doing everything he can to try to help their kid. But the mama does the complete opposite to try and turn their kid against the father. But see, when I was re what I was reading in, in, in the agenda, that's what they that's what these devils want to do, man. That, that's what Esau is doing, man. And like the brother read in the scriptures, man, that the head of every man is yeah is Yahweh, then Yahweh shot, then the father, then the woman, then the child, man. Okay, that's that's how the order is supposed to be. But see that that's not what these these Satanists are trying to promote, man. They're anti Messiah, man. Okay? They want to destroy the family structure, man. That's why they that's why they got alphabetism, man. That's why they got feminism before, man. To, to, to turn the you know, turn the woman against the man and her kid and, and, and the children against the man, man. Yep. That's what they want to do, man. Yeah. Yep. And they're trying to specifically do it to you Israelites. You know, you don't see them trying to do that, you know, in uh with the other races and the other nationalities. You know, you look at the other nationalities like Esau Edom so-called white folks they they family dynamic you know it is it's in order you know, the man he's doing he's a ruling over his household when you look at uh ishmael you know he he has authority over his household when you look at a chinese man he has authority over his household but when you look at us the so-called blacks hispanics and native american indians it's the total, it's, it's opposite, the total opposite so that's what that lets you know that goes back to psalms 83 you know they pretty much trying to you know mess up the dynamic of the israelites you know they're trying to just mess us all up you know and they got to pay for it Come. And then her fourth uh, strategy, if sex is free, make abortion legal and easy. And see, that goes back, like, look what I was saying to, you know, the sacrifice unto Motlick, man. Okay, that modern day sacrifice unto Motlick is modern day abortion clinics, man. That's why Margaret Sanger was talking about she how Margaret Sanger had hatred for our people and how she wanted to abort black babies, man. You can look this up, man. She was she was with the KKK. And guess what? She was a so-called Democrat, man. Okay, you, you can look this up for yourself, man. She was not only was she a feminist, she was also a member of, uh, she was a um, a disciple of a, a, a well-known Satanist, Helena Blavatsky, and the Theosophical Society. And we all know they worship Satan. But the, the, the point was, they get all their ideologies Esau eat them from, from the devil, man. Okay? They don't have anything to do with the Heavenly Father, man. So, see, that's why they're promoting to you Eve to kill your babies, man. Now we're seeing a lot of these Eves, man. Now they want to kill their babies, man. Talking about some, it's my choice, my body and my choice. And now, and now and you know what's crazy, y'all? It was in this video, it was this woman saying, uh, she was saying, hail um, the, the, the devil. And when she was killing the baby, man. Right. And, and they're letting you know, man. Because because in, in, in democratic states like California, it's okay to m murder a baby after birth, man. They, they, they consider that a, a, a great thing, man. Yep. But, 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 but see, what you people don't realize, man, that's, that, that's considered life, man. Okay? And the Heavenly Father is against, you know, abortion and uh, child sacrifice, man. Yep. As a matter of fact... Let me get that. I think that's uh, Leviticus. Look at Leviticus yeah. twenty. Was it nineteen or twenty six? Tell me, I want to say, pass through the fire in a moment. Yeah, come, come. Leviticus twenty
Leviticus 18. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. You ain't got it yet. Okay, yep. I got a precept too, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is Leviticus chapter 18, verse 21. Uh -huh. And it says, And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither, thou sh neither shalt thou profane the name of thy power. I am the Lord. Yep, and see that, man? Thou shalt not, you know, give, you, you shouldn't be giving your children unto Molech, man. That means killing your babies, man. Nope. That's what these heathens were doing, man. These heathens, man, they don't believe in the Heavenly Father. All their seed, man, all like from the Edomites, it all goes back to the Canaanites, man. Okay, and that's what they were doing. They were doing child sacrifices, you know, all the the, the rituals that they were doing, and mainly child sacrifices under Moloch, summoning these demonic spirits, because that's how they got, you know, that's how these 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 spirits on the left hand side got power, man. It was from the 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 the, the blood of the children, man. Okay, and that's what these witches. And these warlocks practice, man, and that's what they want, man. They want your children, man. Huh. That's why, man, you, you gotta you gotta understand, man. The heavenly Father is totally against that, man. Well, okay, and He wants you to take care of your kid, man. He wants you to teach your kid, you know, who they are as a people, man. But 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 in today's society, man, if you look up uh, how much abortion, I believe it's a, a was it two million abortions a year, I believe. It, it, it's it's a it's a large amount. God. Yep. It's yep. yep. It's two million abortions a year, man. And and, and 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 it's amazing how how it's considered here in Babylon that killing babies is considered a good thing, man. Yep. But see, and it's a scripture I want to bring out with that to pretty much show like, yeah, children are like a, a blessing and all that, but in the society, you know, it's looked like it's looked at as if it's a bad thing. You know, or children are a burden or something like that. Exactly. You know, the scriptures say that uh, the, the, the children is the uh, uh, heritage of the Lord. Let me, I don't want to butcher it. I'm just reading. Yeah, this is Psalms chapter 127 and let me see, is it verse 3? Yeah, it's verse 3 and it says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is is his reward. So there, there you have it. You know, children. That's it's a good thing if you're able to have children. You know, but here it is in the society. You have majority of women. You know, they're they're talking about some. Uh, you know, they want to get abortion. You know, a child yep. is holding me back right now. Yep, and yeah. I don't like this kid. And I don't yeah, want I want to be, uh, focus on my career. My career is my baby. Exactly. You know, like this is the type of women that we got here in the society. You know what I mean? You know, they they value a career more than children so therefore they're willing to you know x their own child out just to be able to pursue a career you know or they want to live footloose and fancy free you know and just live that life how they want to live it huh. you know so that's not how it's supposed to be if you damn near if you damn open your legs you know and you understand what's what could come along with that exactly. then you don't be don't be trying to have no damn abortion and that's why that demon said if sex is free um make abortion legal and accessible God. Okay, you know these women they just having sex with anybody. Yeah, you know, exactly. with all these pookies and ray rays. Yep. You women need to realize who, who you sleeping with, man. Because right. here it is, a good man will give you the world. You don't want that, man. Yeah, You'd rather that. sleep with the with some crazy dude, and then you end up y'all you end up getting pregnant. Then you'll be like, oh, I don't want that kid, or or that pookie and ray ray. He'll abandon you, man. right? Yeah. Then you, then when he abandon you, now you walk around the earth screaming, all oh, men ain't shit, niggas ain't shit, this that another. But your dumb ass made the decision to lay down with John John, Ray Ray, and uh, Man Man and all that. You exactly. know what kind of nigga that was. You know what kind of nigga he was. You know? So huh. it's like you made the bed, now you got to lay in it. You know? So, hey, it is what it is. Huh. And then her, the next agent, she says she wants to make divorce easy and legal, free people from the concept of marriage for life. Now, what, now going back to what I was saying, the family structure. She's talking about destroying the family structure, you know? You know, man, won't, it's, it, you know, the, the head of every man is Christ, it is like he's Yahweh Shah. Then it's, then it's man, woman, then child, man. They want to completely destroy that, man. Uh -huh. They want to destroy that order that the Heavenly Father had, had set up for us, man. Y Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, man. And they want to do, turn into the complete opposite. And then this, and see, this is the, 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 the next key one, man. They want to make alphabetism an alternative lifestyle and you see that going on right now man i mean look i mean all you got to do is 
Look at uh, Dwayne Wade's son, for example. Look at what Dwayne Wade did to his son, and people are praising that. Like, that's great and wonderful. Look yeah. at Magic Johnson's uh, uh, son. Look at uh the the look at the new cop look at the new Chicago Bears football player painting his nails pink and he got a a, a pink case with, with with all pink. This is what they're paving the way for for for, for the future children, man. Right. Or Desmond Amazing, man. And when you think about it, it really all boils down to depopulation and controlling, you know, uh population and all that. Exactly. If, if everybody is a down sodomite. You know, you guess can't what? have you can't, children. Yeah, you can't have children. You know, so that, that's what it, what it boils down to. That's why they want to push it so hard. You know, and that's why they push it so hard amongst you Israelites because ultimately they don't want more Israelites to be created. They don't, they, they don't want you Israelites around, you know? And that's why they promote people like Saucy Santana. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's it? Dang, what's that? Uh, Lil Nas X. Yeah. They promote nope. uh, 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 RuPaul. Uh, um, and, and all those people, man. And now they got, now they got, and we, we mentioned this two camps ago. Now they got trends running in the women's Olympics now, man. Right. Okay, yep. this is what they want to make the normal lifestyle. People will look at this and they'll think this is okay. That's why they got uh, quarterbacks like Caleb Williams, because people gonna look at him and think, oh well, this is okay. Now you got NBA players nowadays, Jalen Green and them, man. Look at, pay, pay attention, people. Look at what they, look at what they're wearing. They're painting their nails, man. Yep. And men will look at this and they'll think that this is okay. And now they're allowing the women to, to paint their nails, man. And, and, the, and to think that this is okay, man. When, when it's not, man. Uh -huh. and, and it's all anti-Messiah, man. Okay? Because the highest form of Satanism is alphabetism, man. That's just the truth, man. You know, the apostle, he was going in there yesterday, man. The highest form of Satanism is alphabetism, man. Okay? Because that's what they want to do, man. They want to molest and rape your your kids, man. It's in Aleister Crowley's disgusting book, man. Yeah, and they, they, that's how you know it's true. Because when you look at uh, that what, what's the name of that statue? You know, what, uh, uh, Statue of Liberty. No, the statue with the uh, the. Oh, the, Baphomet. Yeah, Baphomet. Yeah, the Baphomet statue. What do you notice about that statue? It's yeah. a goat. It's, with it's a breast. A, yeah, it's a goat. And a penis. Yeah, exactly. So it's pretty much that's where you get the whole uh, uh, transformerism from. You know, I gotta say it that way because of the YouTube's yeah. algorithm. But that's where you get the whole transform transformer uh, uh, situation from. Now you got dudes that are look that you got fem you got dudes that look like females, and they look exact like you seen like it was this North Carolina dude. He looked just like a female, yeah, man. Exactly. That's See, why you that, gotta be safe what, right here, man. That, that's what that's what we're living in. Yeah, that's what we live in. You gotta be safe. Cause like literally we're, we're living in a society where, you know, you gotta question everybody. You don't even know what is what. You know, you'll see a, a something walking down the street that look like a woman, but you gotta question it because literally they've made it to where, you know, women or men could look exactly like a, a woman. You don't, you wouldn't even know it. Exactly. You gotta ask for damn baby pictures and all that. You know what I'm saying? You, is, is this is how this society is messed up. It's, huh. You know, they done jacked everything up. Kind. And then her, her, this is her, her seventh. I'm almost done now. Yep. So this is uh, Alice Bailey's seventh uh, point. She wants to make the base art make it run mad. Now most of y'all, so it's it's a thing that was called spirit cooking from uh, Abrina Abramovich. She would pour uh, blood, like real life human blood, on the um, on the uh, on the walls, and they would paint it. And they would consider that art. That's what they would consider art. And then they would have like this cake of, of humans. Like they would like bake an actual cake of humans. Cause it shows you what these celebrities, these sick celebrities have to do behind closed doors, man. Yep. It, 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 and, and, and that's what they want to make the new norm. They want to make child sacrifice normal. They want to make sacrificing humans, organ harvesting, drinking blood. That's what they want to make as the new norm, man. Like, for example, Kim Kardashian, man. She right. drinks blood, man. Okay? A lot of these celebrities, man, how you think these celebrities get famous, man? They don't They don't get talent. People say, well, oh, they got talent. No, man. They got to do sick, twisted things yeah, exactly. to get that talent, man. Like, drink blood. Yep. Sacrifice, um, uh, sacrifice babies and children and kill people. Why you think these people go missing all of a sudden, man? Because they're sacrificing them. These elites, they're sacrificing them and they're taking their organs, man. And they're, But they're making it normal, man. 
And see, going back to that, going back to that alphabetism, man. That's uh, in California. It, 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 yes, in California, people. Um, if a if a if an alphabet person wants to sleep with a little boy, a four year old, say if a two or three or four year old boy, minor, that's considered a bill. That's considered okay in California, man. Yep. That's sick, man. What I mean, what, I mean, I mean, if people are actually nobody is saying nothing against this. This is why you, you this is why you gotta train your children, man. This is why, man. Because now they're making uh, raping and molesting your little boys okay, man. Just like what they did in the Catholic churches, man. That's what they would do. They get these little boys drunk and then they would molest them, man. That's what they would do, man. They're doing the same thing today. Now California passed that bill out saying it's okay now if a if a if an alphabet person wants to sodomize a little boy, that's okay. But it's considered hateful now for it's considered hateful now. For, for going against a, a, a grown ass man to molest a little a little boy who don't even know anything, man. That that's considered hateful now in today's yep. society. The scripture talk about that wanting and they call evil good and good evil. This is uh Isaiah chapter five verse twenty. It says, Want to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And see, that goes into destruction, man. Woe unto you people that call good evil and evil good, man. You people that are called alphabetism good, man. Woe unto you, man. Okay, that's wicked, man. Yep. That's wicked as hell, man. Woe unto you people that are calling um, celebrity, praising celebrities like Lil Uzi Burke, uh, uh, NBA young boy and all these evil wicked uh, uh, uh celebrities man that are be that are puppets man that that are be that are industry plants man that are used to the to, to destroy your mind man and, and matter of fact that was the spirit because the next agenda actually go, uh, her next agenda actually goes into that come. and this is her and I got so like I want to it's a precept to what I just brought out oh, come, come. bring it out right quick come and it's a scripture that say, uh, the prayer of the Lord is to hate evil. As a matter of fact, no, that's not it. That was a little good one, too. Oh, no, yeah, that, yeah that's a good one. Uh, it's uh, Psalms 90, uh, 90, uh, 97, uh, 97. Oh, yeah, yeah, Psalms 96. Uh, who will rise for me against the. Yeah, that the one, evil. too. I thought about that one, too. But that, no, that wasn't the one oh, I was talking about. Yeah. This is Psalms 97 and verse 10. It says, Ye that love the Lord hate evil, he preserved the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. So, you know, those that hate evil, you know, or those that love the Lord, we're going to be, you know, uh, speaking out against these types of things and whatnot. But see, you can tell who truly love the Lord and who don't, because those that don't, they, they're they accepting these types of things. You know, oh, I ain't going to judge them. You know, they, you, they, they, yeah, they can do what they do want. They, want. Yeah, they want to go into a woman's bathroom. If a, a, man, a grown man want to go into a woman's bathroom, he can do that. Yeah, you know. If you want to rape and molest little boys, I'm okay with right. it. Right, that, that, that's his business. That ain't none of my business. Dude. If he want to go have sex with a car, he could go have sex with a car. If you want to have sex yeah. with that bull, he can do that. Yeah, that. Do as thou will. Right, exactly. Do what you want. Do, do, do as thou will. And that, that's, that's what it really boils down to. Because those that... Uh, Love the Lord, they're going to hate these type of things. God, you know, that's what we do, man. Yeah. We hate these things, man. Yeah. We hate this evilness and wickedness that this devil is pushing upon us, man. But because we, we understand these people, they're not going, they're going to love it, man. God. Okay? And that's why they're going to be destroyed here on this side, man. On the first go around, man. Yeah. And then this is her eighth agenda. Uh, she wants to use, so Alice say Bailey wants to use media to promote and change mindset. That's what you see going on right now. People. See, see through the television programming. Notice that 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 our people, whether it's your family or, or your friends or whoever, man, it mainly be the millennials. But you know, they, they be watching the news all of a sudden. The news will tell them the same thing over and over again, the same propaganda, and the, and, and and they'll flock into it, man. And it'll be programming their subconscious mind to the point where now they're going to just keep following. It. And then now, not only do they promote these 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 uh, evil, wicked um, people in the news media, they promote these wicked celebrities like Sexy Red, for example. Now, now every now all these women want to be like Sexy Red. Why? Because the media promoted Sexy Red as a great, wonderful thing, even though the BET Awards was garbage. But but you know these women, they looked at Sexy Red, Glorilla, 
Megan Thee Stallion, as wonderful, great people. I mean, as I mean, as for the women, man, to 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 whore out our women, man, completely, man. And you see, majority of our women, they they're, they 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 have turned our women into degenerate whores, man. And I'm not talking about you, sincere sisters, man. I'm talking about these women that have been Americanized, man, yep. in, in the in the ways of the the Babylonian system, man. Okay, and and, and, and see, the truth be told, man, they're through, man, because. Nobody told them the truth, man. You know, nobody told them that, you know, they should respect themselves. You know, they should, you know, they should uh, walk as, you know, you know, to, to care for themselves. But they don't, man. Because like we were, we were saying, man, see, the reason why these women act like this, they get it from the, celeb they get it from the celebrities like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion and them. Because that's what they were promoting. I'm, I'm, I'm the single lady. I don't need no man. Because that's what Beyonce and them would be promoting. But behind closed doors, here it is. They with they they with their husbands. Kind of, they got husbands and all that. But you know what I mean? That made me think of something. Like like how we was talking about how majority of these women they like to go for Poofy and Ray Ray's. Uh, uh, Beyonce, she had a song like years ago talking about she wanted a thug or something like that. I forget what the name of the song was. Huh? And she wore yeah. uh, and years ago she wore like this costume and uh, a baffle man. Yeah, and she will and she looked tainted as hell, man. Let's she even I, yeah, yeah. she even admitted she got a, a demon called uh, Sasha Fierce, man. But see, these women they worship her like 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 a god, man. God. Okay, instead of looking into the heavenly Father, man. Yep. And that's what jacked these women up, man. Because see, they use that the satanic media to program the minds of these women and not just women but men too man mm -hmm. now you got uh like Lil Uzi Vert, Drake, Jay-Z, Kanye West man and they all sold out to the to the devil man because what the, Jake don't realize is these celebrities they're initiating you into the occult man but y'all don't realize it man like 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 that Megan Thee Stallion doing her dance she's throwing up the devil horns blatantly and now every, and now all these E's and, and even these these alphabet I mean the alphabet Y'all do, man. I don't even. But you, you ease, man. I mean, she, I mean, she, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Like y'all just don't know what y'all doing, man. Uh. Y'all are being programmed like this demon, like this devil. Alice Bailey told you, man. She, she wanted to program y'all, man. Mm -hmm. That's what she's done, man. Yep. Uh. And, and that's why, that's why now they're wearing bafflement pentagram shirts and skull and bones and six six sixes, man. Because these celebrities are wearing it, they think that it's okay, man. But they haven't been—they haven't been trained according to the Bible. They haven't been raised, man. Okay, they could have came from a, a single household, man. Yep. And, and, and now they're all jacked up, man. And then I'm gonna read the rest of the two, and then that'll be it for that one. Gotcha. This is um, verse nine: create an interfaith movement. Now see. This goes into the scripture I was reading in Genesis. See what you a lot of what you people got to understand is you have to believe in the scriptures. You have to believe that you're Israelite. That's it. Okay? We don't believe in Allah or Muslim. We are not Christians, man. We are not Egyptologists or in the conscious community and we don't want to come together, man. We're not with that. The scriptures tell you can two be agreed and can two be agreed unless you uh walk together, man. Okay, because all these religions like Muslim, like, like, like I was going over, you know, Muslim, Buddhism, Hinduism, they're all coming in one, man. Okay, under one religion, man. And that religion is like the brother was saying, bafflement, man. Okay, under Satan, man. That one, that, that one, that one world government, that, that one race, that gender, which is bafflement, and that religion, which is Satan, and Satanism. That, that's what they want to push on the people is, is that is their new world order, man. Yep. Because see, what you people don't understand, man, is very soon, man, Esau don't need these people to work at jobs, man. He has robots, man. Truth be told, a lot of people, matter of fact, you give me uh, Psalms 90, uh, I think it's 96 and 7, where it says many are going to, they're going to die. Uh, or fall on that, fall on that right side. But, but because see, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Songs, it might be Psalms 92, or you know, we talking about where I said thousands shall fall yep, on that right that side. side. I think it's is it 96 and four. Salaki. 
But see, what, what's going Song to happen? 91. Oh yeah, con, con, the what? Yep, it was 91, it's so yeah. lucky. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's uh, Psalms 91 and uh, verse 7 it says, uh, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8, Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Verse 9, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Verse 10, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Yep, see that man, see, if, if, if you're with the Heavenly Father, man, and if you're rooted in these scriptures and you know who you are and you're sincerely doing the work of the of the Most High to the best of your abilities, the Lord is going to deliver you, man, from the times of evil and the times of trouble. Because see what's going to happen, people are going, a lot of people are going to be dropping dead, okay? And the website called Deagle, they said by 2025, it's going to be, a, whole, a, a lot, the, the population is just going to decrease, man. It goes back to the Georgia Guidestones, man. Okay, because see, what this devil is getting ready to do, man, he's going to get rid of all these humans, man. That That's what he wants, man. He wants, like the brother said, depopulation. He wants to get rid of the humans. That's why, that's why guys like Elon Musk, um, Yuval Harare have been talking about replacing people with robots, man, because they're letting you know that how much they hate humans and how much they want they would rather have robots man okay because they said 80 percent of they said that a majority of jobs will be replaced by robots you know why because all those people they're going to end up dead man because a lot of these people they don't know what's going on man and they're ignorant man they're nope. they're they're completely gone and they're stupid man to 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 what's going on and that's why esau is going to kill them off man okay He's going to kill them off with the you know what, you know that certain something, and he's going to kill them off with that CHIP, man. See, very soon, man, you people are going to have to make a decision because the decision is already made, man. Okay, it's already made, man, for who the heavenly Father wants and who he doesn't want, man. Mm -hmm. But because you people, y'all have no idea, man, about what's going on. So, and all you people, man, that are caught up in this. Uh, in this in the so-called uh <clears throat> conscious community man y'all need to get out of that man okay because it's all bugged out stuff man because y'all don't even realize it's a satanic new age movement that they're gonna get y'all caught up in man okay and it does and it has nothing to do with the heavenly father man see they'll have you think they'll have you think that all this stuff is all good they'll have you think these sages and all these uh, uh witchcrafts and you know the tarot readings and all this, you know, this burning of sages that it, it, it's considered harmless. They're doing yoga. It's all harmless. That, that, that's what they'll have you believe, man. But they don't even tell you that in this in this new age movement that they're getting ready to push is in is, is is under Satan, man. Okay? Because that's what they that's what Blavatsky says, that the new age movement is that what they teach in the new age movement is that darkness is light to them. They believe that Satan is the light, man. Satan is their God, man. And they hate, and they even say that they, in, in their books, they tell you they hate the Heavenly Father. They hate the Bible and the people that are for the Bible, man. They tell you that. But they're not going to tell you. Th these New Agers, like, you know, these so-called sidekicks and all these New Agers in the Mac, they're not going to tell you that. Right. You're not going to hear about Illuminatus like Helena Blavatsky and Alice Bailey. You're not going to hear about them, man. But it's our job as the prophets to warn you about people like them, man, and what they're here to push, man. Their 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 NWO agenda. And I got one more. Um, this will be the last one, and then that'll be it with that one. Right. And then her last goal is to get governments to make all these laws and get the church to endorse these changes, man. Okay. And you see, and see, major what most of you people don't realize is that you know. When, when the government passes out bills, like, like for example, back when Obama was in office, he was he was the main one pushing that alphabet. Is he was pushing them guillotines, uh, uh, them uh, them human coffins, the size of humans, man. Who do you think that was for, man? That was for you, for the people, man. Martial law, man, is getting ready to come, man. Whether you people realize it or not, man, because you people have no idea what's getting ready to come. All these people are finna drop dead, man. 
Where do you think all these people that, that are gonna be depopulated? Where do you think they're gonna put they're gonna put them in them body bags, man? Because Esau, he's gonna kill, he's gonna kill them many ways, man. And he's also going to kill them through martial law, man. Esau's gonna come at your door unexpectedly. You're gonna have robots, you're gonna have police cars, I mean you're gonna have military tanks, they're gonna be surrounding your house. You're gonna be like, well, what what's going on here? Like, like for example, they're gonna use uh psyops. Like Sandy Hook, for example, or they'll create like 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 major uh, weather because we all know that most weather is manipulated. It's called harp. Like like for example, Hurricane Katrina, and look at what Esau did in the military, with put martial law out to the black people. They they couldn't do nothing, man. If they even thought about going out in the uh, in the uh, if they tried to escape, there was a police there to shoot them and kill them, man. They had to either sit there in the heat all day with the baby dead, or they either had to fight each other and dead, or they was gonna shoot him and kill him anyway, because Esau was gonna kill him anyway. And then they would pretend like they was gonna have, they was going to have the so-called um, uh, buses loaded to so-called help the people, right? But it was all a drill, man. And it was, and, 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 and they wasn't gonna help them, man. They was gonna leave, let them sit there, man. Cause that's how the that's how the so-called white man thinks about you, man. And very soon, man, they they gonna get rid of the dollar, man. Okay. And truth be told, man, like like for example, like 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 this spot right here, it could be used as a FEMA camp in the future, man. Like for example, like like WalMarts and Costco's and uh, Sam's Club, they don't have no windows, man. Okay. So and, and all you gotta do is look in the back when it's empty. It looks like a concentration camp, like a detention center, man. Okay, because that's what's getting ready to come, man. They're going to throw a lot of you people into the FEMA camps and the concentration camps, man. Y'all think it's a joke, but it's not, man. It's serious. Th this is all a part of their NWO plan, man. Okay? It's all in the in, in, in the Obama plan. It's all in the Bush plan. Because what did, what did, what did they say? They want to push order out of chaos. Because one time in the video, Bush... He, he said in, in a speech, he he, because you we know how stupid Bush is, because you know he said weapons of mass destruction, but also Bush said, um, um, you're free, and um, your freedom is great, but we we're gonna create, but we're gonna create an order out of, out of chaos. I mean, an order out of chaos. I mean, yeah, John, but he was telling you people flat out that they're the ones that are going to create the order out of chaos, man. Okay, it all started with the 9/11, man. Okay, and, and, and very soon, man, because hey, me and the brother, we've been feeling it. Other brothers been feeling it. Something big is getting ready to come, man. So whether you people, whether you people don't realize it or not, something big is coming, man. So. Okay, and you can best believe if Esau locks down again, you can best believe he's going to get rid of the dollar and he's going to usher in a cyber attack, man. And, he, and, and see, with all this, with all this voting, Cause truth be told, like we now we could go into the uh, assassination, but, but actually, Salaki. Before I mentioned that, it was the, uh, the, the 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 church movement. Y'all see what's going on in the Christianity is through, man. I mean, T.D. Jakes, uh, Creflo Dollars, Kenneth Hagin, Kenneth Copeland, um, and look and, and look and look at what happened in those churches, man. They were all dancing, they were jumping off the pool pits. And, 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 and jumping into the, uh, and then they were, you know, they were doing all types of foolishness in the church. Like, <laughs> they were rolling on the ground like idiots. And people consider this the Holy Ghost, man. God. They, that, that's what this d damn devil was talking. Pay these damn, these these churches, man. These 501c3 churches, man. That got paid off by the, the, the 1948, 48ers, man. Yep. Okay, because these churches, they don't have your best interests, man. Okay, they, you see, you can't trust in man, man. That's what a lot of these people are going to do, man. They're going to trust in man instead of the heavenly father, man. And see, that that's what's going to be your downfall, man, is trusting in man instead of the most high, man. Yep, right. yep but, 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 but so you can understand, man, that's their, that's their, that's Alice Bailey's agenda. And remember, people, that Alice Bailey is the founder, her and her husband, Foster Bailey, he created a book called The Spirit of Masonry, 
uh, they they created they're the ones that are behind the United Nations New World Order agenda. Remember that, and remember that in 1920 it used to be called Lucifer. Luc the the company used to be called Lucifer's Publishing Company, but they changed it to Lucius Trust so people wouldn't be suspicious. But it was really Lucifer's Publishing Company, mm -hmm. and there uh, and it, it was to honor Lucifer, man. Remember that, man. So what you want to get on next? Uh, uh I got uh I guess I get Jeremiah 50, 50, 51, the destruction of, of Babylon. I mean of America. Go ahead, I know we said we're gonna probably touch on um you know what uh Gabar brought up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah that, 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 uh, putting up curses on uh Yeah, just pretty much, you know, uh crying out, praying calm, the downfall calm. of Babylon the Great, so on, so on and so forth. You know, so uh yeah, you know, we, we pretty much uh before we cut on the camera we said we was gonna touch on that. You know uh about how it's important you know that you know we ultimately uh pray for the downfall of babylon the great you know like i know a lot most of us we probably already do that but turn it up 10 times more you know what i'm saying especially in the times that we in because this place you know it's getting more wicked you know the hell we catch is getting more intense you know what i mean so you know we're in a time right now where it's important you know to pray even harder for the lord to pretty much bring a swift downfall to babylon the great you know, because ultimately, you know, that's what happened in uh, ancient Egypt. All right. I believe I spoke on this last week. All right. You know, uh, in ancient Egypt, you know, we was feeling the effects of the hardcore bondage, you know, that we were serving. You know, and we wanted to be, you know, uh, let free. So we was pretty much praying and crying out to the Lord. And the Lord, he ultimately heard our prayers. And he brought the uh, uh, curses, you know, or plagues upon Egypt and whatnot. All right. So. Matter of fact, I think I got something. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> And this pretty much this what this this is what's going to happen this time. So that's why Elder Elder Gabor he made a video pretty much telling brothers and stuff to pretty much send up curses upon this place. You know, pray for the downfall of Babylon the Great. You know, so on and so forth. You know, because your mentality it should be should be to get the hell up out of here, right? You know, you should be you know crying out and just you know uh, letting the Lord know that how much you hate this place, all right? You know, uh, it, it, a, a lot of times I like to refer to a. Uh, that movie Karate Kid, you know, where uh, uh, Jaden Smith, you know, he's pretty much saying he hated here. That's how we're supposed to be, all right? You know, our mentality should be uh, to cr crying out to the Lord saying that, you know, we hate it here and he won't, and we want him to bring a uh, plagues upon this place, all right? You know, what scripture was you going to get? Revelation 6 and 10. What, what okay. that say? Yeah, you go ahead and bring it up. Okay. It's a lot you correct me. Hopefully it should be. And... And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the, the earth? Uh, yeah, that, and that's a perfect scripture right there, because like that's how we should be. And uh, a lot of us already think like that. You know, we just, a lot of times, like, we just be sitting and thinking, like, how, how much longer? You know, how, how long do we, uh, how much longer do we have? You know, how long do we got to deal with this? You know, that's, that's how we should be feeling and thinking and praying to the Lord, like, how much longer, Lord? Like, you know, when, when you're gonna bring a downfall, this when we're gonna judge these people for, you know, uh, all the wickedness. Yeah, there. exactly. All and the they, wickedness. And they want to stay in there with their wickedness. Exactly. That, that's our mentality. That's how we should be thinking, you know. But the majority of our people, they think everything is good. You know, they 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 want this place to continue because they want to create a life for themselves here in Babylon the Great. They still want to get their 401k. Yeah, exactly. They want to create a future for themselves. Oh, I'm not. You know, uh, I'm not, you know, satisfied with where I'm at right now. In the next few years, I want to be here. You know, I want to be there. This is what I want to do with my life. You know, and don't get me wrong. Yeah, we're supposed to take care of business. You know, we're supposed to, you know, handle our responsibilities while we're here. But your mentality should be to get the hell up out of here, right? Because this is not the end all be all. You know, you're supposed to be sighing and crying. See, I was shy, right? This ain't your, your rest. Yeah, it's not your rest whatsoever. And a lot of our people think that this is our rest. All right, how the hell the place where you was in the damn cotton field, you know, cotton. Yeah, how's this your rest? Like how? You know, you always gotta work a damn nine to five, you know, Monday through Friday, sometimes even the weekend. Some people 10 hours, 12 hours a day, you know, and this is the land of your rest and you satisfied being here? That's how messed up our people are. You know, you, know, you got something? Uh, <clears throat> yep, I got something. It's Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse one. Thus said the most high, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, 
a destroying wind and will send upon Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land for in the day of trouble they shall be against her roundabout. <clears throat> Against him that bendeth let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifteth himself up in brigdony, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel have not forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of the Lord of hosts through their land was filled with the sin against the Holy One of Israel. Verse 6, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Most High's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Okay, uh -huh. so that's what, so see, that's what we're doing, man. So see, we're out here. You know, telling you people that you need to repent, man, and you need to come out of the ways of America, man, because the Heavenly Father wants, he, he wants his sheep to be um, gathered, man. So then once all of his sheep is gathered and once all the, all this, once the word is preached throughout the four corners of the earth, now it's time for the Heavenly Father to get busy on this place, man. Yep. Because the Heavenly Father, he's not going to send love on this place, man. He's going to send death angels on this place, man. He's going to send death angels. He's going to send Yahweh Shai, and he's going to come back with wrath and anger, man, and fire in his eyes, man. Ain't going to be no love, lovey, lovey, dovey, do like these people think, man. And see, that, that that's the problem, man. <clears throat> I mean, if California is passing a bill to, for it to be okay with, um, with okay for, look, for, for grown, um, uh, uh, alphabet people to molest little boys and if there's satanic rituals going on like in San Pedro they were uh, sacrificing uh, animals man and he was talking about that that, that he had uh, he, he was so called trying to get rid of the demons but he had demons on him himself man and them demonic spirits were having uh, uh, him kill all these animals man okay don't you and, and you don't you people don't think this place needs to be de destroyed you, and, and all this mo moism that's being promoted, and all this Satanism, and you people that are under the Alistair Crowley influence, do as thou wilt. You people don't think that America shouldn't be destroyed, man? I mean, I mean, well, well, I, mean I just can't see, man, how you wouldn't want this place to get destroyed, man. I, I, I couldn't see it, man. But see, <clears throat> the Heavenly Father, he's going to do away with America, man. And see, once he does away with America, man, it's gonna be the kingdom of heaven, man. But for right now, man, we're we're here in our fleshly bodies, man. Okay, and all we can do is, you know, all we can do is be, do, you know, teach the heavenly Father's word as best as we can to the best of our abilities, and to wake up, you know, the lost sheep of the house of Israel and gather as much as we can, man. So that way, the heavenly Father, man, you know, Lord will we be of the elect, man, for doing His work. Sincerely, man. Okay, and that's what the Heavenly Father is telling you, you, you people, man. Come out of Babylon, man. Stop looking, man. Come out of trying to look up to all these celebrities, man. You know these celebrities, they ain't gonna do nothing for you, man. These so-called entertainers, the, these athletes, man. Because the Heavenly Father gonna do away with all these celebrities and their and these athletes, man, and these politicians and entertainers, man. Huh. Because he gonna get rid of the dollar, man. Why you think these celebrities have underground bunkers, man? They know what they know that their time is up, man. So all they could do is to try and indoctrinate you, man, and try to get you on board with Satan's uh, plan, man. Okay, with Satan's uh, one world government NWO system that he's getting ready to implement, man. But the Heavenly Father is saying, come out of America, man. Okay, the Heavenly Father is going to he's going to recompense vengeance unto unto her double for what America has done to our people, man. Cutting our people off from not knowing who they are, man. Setting up all these pagan statues like the Obelisk, man. Uh, which is a really a phallic, man. Okay, that these witches and warlocks worship every single day, man. Yep. And, and, and they got this here in America, man. But the Heavenly Father told us not to, that, that it shouldn't be put there, man. But these damn devils, man, these damn uh, uh, mace, Freemasons, man, put it here anyway, man. Okay, because they're showing their hatred toward the Heavenly Father, man. But the Heavenly Father's got something for them, man. 
for their hatred towards the Israelites and their hatred towards the Heavenly Father. The Lord got a personal agenda for their ass, man. He going to tear their ass limb from limb anyway, man. God, this is scripture. This is scripture I was talking about earlier in Joel chapter 3. It says, uh, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Judah representing the southern kingdom of Israel. Jerusalem representing the uh, northern kingdom of Israel, all right? So the southern kingdom being the so-called Negroes, all right? African-Americans, uh, Haitians, Jamaicans, all right? You know, and then the northern kingdom being the so-called Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, so on and so forth, all right? So and we're, we're in those times right now where the Lord is about to bring again the captivity of Ju uh, Judah and Jerusalem, meaning we're about to be set free. Verse 2, it says, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapai and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. That goes back to Psalms 83. All right, he has pretty much uh, uh, came, you know, pretty much uh, had crafty counsel to cut us off from being the people. All right, this is what that's talking about. So that crafty counsel these nations had. All right, they're going to have to pay for it in the very near future. All right, pursuing the song, uh, uh, Joel chapter 3. Let me see if, uh, yeah, verse 3, and it says, and They have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. All right, and that's what happened. You know, we was pretty much sold back and forth, so on and so forth during slavery and all that. You know, so th this is what these damn devils are going to have to pay for. Not only Esau, Edom, but damn, you know, these Hamites. All right, you know, these Ishmaelites as well, because they played a part in our captivity. Before this captivity, we was under the, trans, the not the transatlantic slave trade, the sub-Saharan slave trade, you know, which was about, uh, I, I could be wrong, I think it might about been 700 years, you know. It was actually longer than this particular captivity right here in, in America, all right? So they're, them, the Ishmaelites, they're going to have to pay for that too. Verse 4 says, And what have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine, all right? Palestine being... You know, these damn Ishmaelites, all right? It says, will you, will you render me a recompense? If you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? All right? So these damn Hamites, these damn Ishmaelites, all right? You know, they're going to have to pay for what they did because they played a part in our captivity, all right? Like I said, we was in the captivity of these damn Ishmaelites before this captivity. And then you had these damn Hamites, all right? Which in school, they like to try to say Africans sold Africans into slavery. That wasn't the case. Hamites sold Israelites into slavery, all right? You know, and this is what these damn, uh, uh, you know, these uh, damn, uh, these vile uh, people are going to have to pay for it, all right? They're going to have to pay for that. It says, uh, verse 5, it says, Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant, thing, good, my goodly pleasant things. Verse 6, The children of Judah and the children of Jeru Jerusalem have you sold to the Grecians, all right? Grecians being these damn Edomites, all right? You know, that's what happened. The, the uh, Hamites, they pretty much sold us to the uh, quote unquote Grecians, all right, which are, you know, Esau, Edom, all right? It says that you might remove them far from their border, all right? People like to say that the Bible, you know, is just a book of fairy tales and exactly, all that. Exactly, because that's what that, that, that one he pro yeah. pro promoted, man. Right. And here it is this, this, this stupid Eve, she said, Oh, I'm spiritual. Uh, and, and, and see that, because that, that was the spirit, man, because. We was going into how you brothers got to be careful of these women, man, that are witches, man. Because there's a lot of women that look good, but they witches. And I'll even admit to say, yes, they, there's a lot of women that look good that are witches, man. And I hate to say it, but it's the truth, man. Because, see, that's why we, we tell brothers, you know, you got to be you got to be watchful, man. You got to be mindful because you don't know what these people are. You don't know if these people um, have been dabbling in witchcraft or have been... Um, uh, uh, <clears throat> Salaki have been um, molesting children, man. You you don't know that, man. But you gotta check them, man. You gotta try the spirits by the spirits, man. Okay, but but um, uh, but but yeah, I got I I got some Kanye Salaki. <clears throat> and then verse uh verse seven, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Uh, what scripture is that? Of Jeremiah fifty one and seven. Okay. Babylon have been the golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. 
and this is basically is really a, a precept of Revelation. Uh, what's it? Revelation uh, eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, ba 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 Babylon, yeah, having a golden cup in, in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunk in the nation have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her, take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country for a judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. The, yeah, the Lord hath brought forth our righteousness Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord of our God. Okay, so the Heavenly Father is going to destroy America, man. Okay, that 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 golden cup, man. Because when you look at the Statue of Liberty, it, it holds that it, it holds that that um it, it holds that that cup, man. God. Okay, and that's what that that Statue of Liberty represents. That represents Babylon, man. Okay, why you think the Freemasons created it, man? Okay, because they're letting you know who their God is, man. Okay, Babylon is based off of Satanism, man. Okay, it's all based off of Satanism and anti-Messiah, man. That's all America is founded off of, man. Nothing here in America is considered good, man. And America don't want to be healed, man. You know, major Babylon was not to 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 Babylon was not for the Most High, man. That's not what Babylon was created, man. Babylon was to go against the Most High, man, and to go against our people, man. But see, it is our job to speak against the, uh, against Babylon in America and Esau Edom, man, and proclaim the Heavenly Father's uh, uh, and that right, uh, proclaiming that righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. And they hate that we are proclaiming that righteousness and that the truth is being told, man. And even these nations hate Babylon. I mean, look at the Australian video. They, now the nation, Australia is laughing at America, man. When they showed that video of that California bill, they're laughing, man, because of what a joke America is. Look at uh, Russia and them. America is joke. All, all the all these countries know that America is falling, man, and it's through, man. And, and all these people out here are 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 through, man. Yeah. And matter of fact, I got a scripture. I think I got some. Yeah, I do. Second Corinthians four and three. Right, so I <clears throat> Second Corinthians. So I keep people. Give me give me a second. Alright. This is uh Second Corinthians chapter four and verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them, unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but for Yahweh Shai Mashiach's sake, the Lord and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shai's sake. Okay. So you got to understand that, man. The Heavenly Father, he didn't give these people the, 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 the book, man. Okay, it's the reason why the Heavenly Father didn't want these worldly people to get it, man. Because they don't want it, man. They don't know what's going on. They don't care what's going on. All they care about is, like the brother said, all they want to do is stay here in Babylon. Because the God of this world, Satan, man. Okay? Satan is the God of America, man. Of, of Babylon, man. That, that's who controls... Uh, Babylon, man. That's why. That's why these people are in a delusional state, man. Okay. That's why they got they, they got the songs now, like like when Megan Thee Stallion was throwing up the devil horns. Now Eminem got a song out called Antichrist and Lucifer, and Jake and Jake is is, is looking at that, and, and and he don't even see that 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 who who Eminem openly worships, man. I mean, you people are are, are gone, man. Y'all don't know what the hell is going on, man. Y'all don't see what the hell is going on. That's why a lot of y'all are going to end up dead, man. That's why Esau is going to kill y'all off, man. And he's going to kill you off and replace you with robots like he's been wanting to. 
Ted Turner years ago said the humans will all be gone. What you think he what you think, man? What you think he was talking about? He was talking about getting rid of you people, man. DARPA manager was talking about getting rid of humans, man, because he said humans are the problem. We need to shrink the humans, man. That's what they want to do, man. Because you people have been so indoctrinated, man. Uh, because all y'all do is trust in these so-called uh, presidents. Y'all trust in these, these so-called politicians, like, like they're going to help do something for you, man. Well, the Heavenly Father is the one that's going to deliver you out of all your troubles, man. Okay? And see, we're doing this for Yahweh Shai's sake. We're not doing this. We're not getting paid to do this, man. We're doing this for the Heavenly Father and His Son's sake, man. Because Yahweh Shai died for the sins of the Israelites, man. He, 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 all them infirmities he had to go through, man. Satan tried to tempt Yahweh Shai and it didn't work. He, they tried, Herod, King Herod, who was an Edomite, tried to kill Yahweh Shai at birth, man. Yep. All these, all those infirmities, man, that Yahweh Shai, he had to deal with the, the, the Sadducees, the scribes, the, 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 uh, the, the heresies, man. He had to deal with all of them, man. And, and, and he still died for the Israelites, man. So no matter what you go through, man, that should make you want to want to push for the heavenly Father for Yahweh Shai's sake and say, I'm not doing this for my own belly. I'm not doing this. I'm not getting paid to do this, man. I'm doing this because the heavenly Father called me to do it, and I'm doing it because I want to lay my life on the line for Him, man. So when He comes back, I want Him to say that you was a faithful servant, and, and, and Lord willing, you know, we be of the elect, and that our name is written in the books, man. That's what we want, man. We want our names to be written in the books, man. We don't want this world anymore, man. We don't right. care nothing about this world. We want this place gone, man, and destroyed like in Jeremiah, man. That, that's, what we, that's what we want to look forward to, man. But see, you American, see, you two-thirds two of our people, man, they're gone, man. See, if, they, if, 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 if our people don't want to acknowledge that they're Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Issachar, then, then they're two-thirds, man, and, and they're our enemies, man. That's just the truth. If they don't want no, if they don't even want to try to be an Israelite, man, okay, then they're gone, man. These uh, people, they, they, they're absolutely gone, man. And we don't want no parts of two thirds, man. We we hate two thirds, man. Okay, and the heavenly Father is going to do away with you two thirds, man, because because that's the truth, man. Kind like we always say, like Lord willing, we not a two thirds. Kind you know, exactly Lord will, mind, we're like, not of that degenerate. Yeah. We don't want to be, yeah, be generous, like, man. Yeah, cause we're not even us. You know, we don't ever want to sound proud and act like, you know, we just got a spot on the cherry. You know, we we don't know that. You know, we uh we uh that's why we say the hopeful elect, cause we hoping to be of the elect. None of us know if we're of the elect or not. Cause if we knew, it would be no reason to make our call an election sure. Cause we still got to make our call an election sure. You know. Come. Huh. I got it. verse seven. We have this treasure in earthly vessel that the excellency of the power may be of the Most High. And not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distress. We are perplexed, but not despair. In despair, per persecuted, but not forsaken. Casted down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body, in the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. The life also Yahweh Shai Mashiach might be made manifest in our body, man. And see, that's what we're doing, man. We might be persecuted, man. We might be catching hell, man. But the Heavenly Father is building us up, man. And he had, listen, the Heavenly Father said he hasn't forsaken you, man. He's with you. It don't matter all the affirmities that I'm going through, this brother going through, or other brothers are going through, man. The Heavenly Father is dealing with us, man. Okay? And and we want, and, 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 and that, that main goal that we are trying to reach is the kingdom of heaven, man. That's what we want, man. Okay? Because Satan is attacking us. 24 7 man and, we, and and at the end of the day man we got to fight satan man in, in these demonic spirits because he's attacking us man and he tries to bring us down man okay and uh yeah that's yeah i think that's it on that but Con, I, I, and this I, is yeah. scripture i want to bring up you know uh pretty much dealing with how like how was shy you know he had to deal with things Con. so it's already you know off the rip you already know that we gonna have to do it too you know if we want to receive the reward that he's going to receive you know so this is John chapter 15 and verse 20. It says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. Persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will, all, they will keep yours also. So pretty much in a nutshell, you know, if 
you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, he, he caught hell. He had to go through things. It's going to be the same way for us that's truly trying to serve Yahweh Shai. And that goes back to uh, Sirach chapter 2, you know, where it talks about, you know, where if you come, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. Uh -huh. That temptation is, is talking about different things that you may have to go through, trials and tribulations, or whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. So remember, because remember, uh, yeah, because 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 when Daniel put um, had um, fight fighting the lion, man, he was he was getting them prepared, man. Uh -huh. Okay, and that's what the heavenly Father is doing with us, man. And I got that. This is Hebrews chapter twelve and verse four. Ye have not, uh, yeah, yeah, ye, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ye have not. A slucky. Is this the one? What's what you? What are you supposed to say? I think it, it was supposed to talk about how the Heavenly Father was, you know, go, having us go through some, you know, some tough times, you know, to build us up. Wait, maybe it was Hebrews 11 and 4. It might be 12 and, uh, is it 12 and 8? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Salaki, yeah, Salaki people, yeah, forgive me. I was trying to get, you know, that the Heavenly Father is building us up. You know, he's making. So this is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons? Okay, so you got to understand, man, that all this tough, you know, these tough times and all the troubles that we're going through, the Heavenly Father is building you up, man. Okay? So that way when the big when the big thing comes out, so when, when all these when Satan attacks you and these demonic spirits like CERN is getting ready to bring out from the other dimension, other side, man. Okay, then then you'll understand why the Heavenly Father puts you through. Then you'll be like, thank I, I want to thank the Heavenly Father for putting me through all these tough trials and you know tribulations and you know me catching the hell. Because at least I'm catching hell right now, and I don't got to catch the hell when Jacob's trouble happens. And when a pandemic rolls out, martial law is going on, and the dollar is collapsing, and these people are out here scared, uh, uh, mining up for Elon Musk's uh, chip trial, man. That, that That's what you be, should be saying, man. Because that's what the Heavenly Father is doing, man. Yep. He's building you up, man. He's building your faith and building, belief in you. Yeah, building your faith. You know, and also building your character as well, because like the scriptures talk about, we gotta be tried like gold in the fire. You know, I've mentioned this before. When we put gold in the fire, you know, it's pretty much getting rid of those impurities that's within that gold. And every single one of us, we got impurities that we gotta uh, ultimately get rid of. Cotton. So when we catching these different type of hells and the stuff that we're going through, it's ultimately to get rid of the impurity that we, that's within us. You know, it, it may feel bad. You know, it may hurt. You know, but at the end of the day. You know, it's still working out good for you. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, uh, I think it's in Cyrax. Right. Huh. I got some. This first Matter of fact, yeah, let me get this right quick. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cyrax right, chapter 2 and verse 5, it says, For gold is tried in the fire. Matter of fact, start at verse 4. It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Verse 5, For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. You know, so that's just how it is, you know. Yeah, the, the, it's easier said than done. You know, it's easier said than done. Don't get it wrong. Nobody just saying like, you know, whenever you catch a hill, you're just going to have a big smile on your face the whole time. You know, but it's a reminder for you to remember like, you know, this hill that you're going through, it's, it's actually a good thing. You know, it might hurt at the moment, you know, but it's actually a good thing. God, and then that's why the Heavenly Father mentioned people like Job, because all the hell he had to catch that Satan was given to him. And that's why I brought the scripture out. This is uh, First Peter chapter five and verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Man, so you got to be watchful, man. You got to be mindful at all times. You got to watch, man. You got to be, and you got to be prayerful as well, man. Because right. Satan is going to attack you any time and any moment, man. You never know what angle him or his demons are going to attack you, man. Because yep. it could be something that you're so caught up in and Satan could attack you and get, try to get you caught up in it. So so then he'll try and throw you off your game with teaching of what the, of the Heavenly Father, man. And, and Satan will try to break you down, man. 
Okay, but hey, man, don't let Satan break you down, man. Rem remember, Satan tried his, that trick on Yahweh Shai. Look at what happened. Yep. It didn't work. He tried that on Job. And Job went through a lot of affirmities as well. And he still stood for the Heavenly Father and it didn't work, man. God. And, the, and guess what? The angels were right there, the angels were right there to testify. Yep. The angels were right there to, to help Job and back him up, man. Okay, so so it wasn't gonna work, man. Satan tr could try anything in the book, man. It yeah. didn't work, man. It ain't gonna work on the heavenly Father's chosen, man. God. Okay, but you people gotta realize, man, that Satan will do anything to try to knock you down, man. Just remember that, man. And you always gotta be mindful and watchful, man. And, and for you brothers, man, be watchful and mindful of these women that are practicing witchcraft, man. Cause they, they they could be dealing with a, a terrible life, but you're you're living you're 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 dealing living good, man. And then and then they'll try to attack you, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Don't don't let these people bring you down, man. Right. Like like we were saying, like Satan, he knows you know your weaknesses and all that. You know, and he he'll, he'll try to tempt you in various ways. Come. You know, like uh, whatever the case may be. You know, uh, a person might have a weakness of, you know, with a a, 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 a weed. Yep. right drinking you know which is nothing wrong with drinking necessarily but you know to the point where you're becoming like you yeah, know like drunkard, drunkard and all that yeah. yeah then that's when it's an issue but it's nothing wrong with drinking and all that yeah how was shot he he, he drunk wine huh. all right so there's nothing wrong with that you know or you know in some brothers cases and a lot of brothers cases women you know satan will he'll send something like that towards your your, your way to distract you to throw you off your pivot you know whatever the case may be you know, but you got, like the brother said, you got to be watchful, you got to be mindful and paying attention for when these type of things come your way. You know, the scriptures say. Hey, look at this. Kind of, yeah. Hey, look at this, people. They say Trump, they say Trump is bleeding now. <laughs> matter of fact, I got a scripture, matter of fact. Okay, uh, Second Ezra's 15 and 16 in the Good News, the, I mean the GLT, I think. Kind of, yeah. The Good I'm News a, translation. Kind of, yeah, I'm going to get that in a second. Kind of. But yeah, like, uh, like the scriptures say. You know, you're supposed to resist the devil and he will flee. That's what happened when uh, you, uh, the, uh, Satan tried to tempt Yahweh Shai. Huh. All right, you know, you Satan came to Yahweh Shai saying, you can have all this. You know, you just got to bow to me and this, that, and other. You can have all these kingdoms out here. You know, you just got to bow to me. You know, Yahweh Shai, he, he resisted he was that. He's like, no, nah, man. No, like, I'm good. You know? And then what the, what the scripture... He tried to say, if you, jump, if you jump down and just bow to me, uh, and, and, and just worship me, but Yahweh Shai was like, no, nah, that ain't going to work. No, nah, it ain't going to work. And then guess what? What the scripture said after that? It said that Satan, Satan fled away for a season. Huh. And that's something that you gotta pay attention to. It said he fled away for a season. It didn't say he's gonna flee away for good. He's gonna flee away for a season, for a time. Exactly. And, 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 Cause he's gonna come yeah, back. Yeah, he's gonna come back and he's gonna try to come back stronger. So that's why you gotta be watchful and vigilant. And you gotta be strong in your Bible and none. That's why the Heavenly Father is, is putting you through those tough, so that way he'll make get you stronger. Cause if Satan comes, now you'll be stronger, and now Satan will try all of this, and it ain't gonna work, man. Yeah, kind. You understand? Yeah, you know, and this is uh, James chapter four and verse seven. It says, "Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you." Same thing that happened with Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai resisted that. Satan fled away. You know, for a time and a season, though. You know, this this, this, this hell that we catching, it ain't gonna be over until Yahweh Shai come back. So you gotta understand that. Con. You know, once you defeat one demon. He might flee away for a moment, but guess what? A bigger Another demon, demon. yeah. So t ten times worse. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah. I seen, I seen a, a post that a brother posted. You know, the brother uh, on Instagram. We all, we all, we got peace. Come. Yeah, yeah. He posted a post like a while back, and it said something to the. Oh my of, man, where we got peace? Yeah, from, from ATL. Yeah, from ATL. That yeah, brother right there. Come. Yeah, you know, he posted something on Instagram that kind of stood out. You know, to me, uh, it was like he posted like some weeks ago, and it said something to the effect of. You know, uh, with newer levels, bigger demons. You know, when you, you defeat one demon, you know, guess what? A bigger one gonna come eventually after you defeated that last one. Huh. You know, so you just gotta be prepared for that and understand that this is just pretty much, you know, the, the, the battle that we gotta fight. You know, it's not gonna be easy, but we just gotta understand that this is what we signed up for, huh. you know? You said uh, you wanna get what? Uh, second Ezra 15 and 16 in the Good News Trent. Uh, yeah, the the good news translation because what see i you know i believe they probably might try to uh kill trump 
and as as in their script because see what you people got to realize they're finna create a civil war man okay they're finna create ordo out of chaos that's the highest uh, degree the 33rd degree uh that's the albert pike uh that, that's this uh luciferian a uh, freemason albert pike's model man ordo out of chaos man because see that's what they're getting ready to create man they're, they're getting ready to create chaos man with this democratic and this republican uh, um, um, uh, show that, that that they're getting ready to put on, man. Because it's all at the end of the day, man. It's all it's all a show, man. At the end of the day, man. But it was all planned, man. Okay. I mean, you now now you see it. Now they saying that Trump is bleeding now after trying to assassinate him. I wouldn't even be surprised, people, if they try to kill Trump, and then they try to uh, <clears throat> and, then, and, then, and they try to put. You know, one of them them devils in, man. God. Because it's coming soon, man. I think this is what you were trying to get. Yeah. Uh, where it say, it say there will be great political turmoil. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Come. Yeah. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse sixteen in, in the GNT, and it says uh, there will be great political turmoil mm -hmm. with one group trying to overpower another and gain control while ignoring the the, the legitimate power. Uh, it's like the legitimate government. Con and see that that's what they're doing, man. It's gonna be one government that is it's gonna be political chaos and, and, and turmoil, man, to the point where they're gonna try and create. They're gonna have that 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 one that one person as the ruler, man, to push that new world order that they want to implement, man. That that one world government, as what we were reading in the book of uh, Genesis, man. Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. So now you people understand how all this. All this Republican and Democrat, it's all a show, man. It's the order out of chaos model, man, because that's what they're creating, political turmoil, man. They have the Democrats go against the Republicans, and then the Republicans go against the Democrats. And, and it's, all to, it's all to rile the people up, man, because that's what they're doing. And now they got the people going from uh, Democratic states to the Republican states, and now they're thinking they're safe. Because truth be told, Esau could create a harp situation to, to the point where now it's a it's a it's, it's you're in the a boiling pot now man so now where Esau could cook up a, a serious hurricane that could jack everything up and then he can roll out FEMA man because notice notice every, notice every time when there's a uh, a serious uh, event that's going on like a if like if like a bad you know situation happened, yeah. FEMA is always there. Like man. a hurricane or something like that. FEMA is always there, man. If uh, FEMA plays a big role in martial law, man, best believe that, man. Okay, so all you people, y'all gotta understand, man. You can't put your trust in uh, Republicans and Donald Trump, because as you see, if they kill off Donald Trump, man, what y'all gonna do, man? It, it, I can't like just imagine now if they kill Donald, if they kill Donald Duck. Just imagine how these Republicans going at, <laughs> and they think this shit is real, even right. though it's all a damn script. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then that's that's what's gonna cause that political turmoil, man. Yeah. And they probably they gonna do more than just January sixth, man. They gonna tear a lot of shit up, man. Uh. And it's gonna cause a serious civil war. Why you think they got that movie Civil War for, man? Yeah. Cause they're telling you what's getting ready to come. And the, what's getting ready to come here, man? You know, and they had that that movie came out directly after the uh, movie "Leave the World Behind." Exactly, that Obama created yep. that de de devil Obama and and Michael. Yep. <laughs> yep. Michael. Michael. Yeah, and Michael. That, right after that, uh, she uh, whatever it is, she came out saying that. Yep. You know, uh, he might be running instead of Biden. Yeah. Because they said they said Biden is uh, uh, Biden is all jacked up, huh. and I ain't gonna lie. I, a president, uh, he, uh, Gen Henry Ford said in a um, in a speech one time. He said, he said, I don't know when it'll happen, but it'll be a, a, a president, and then it'll be a female vice president. But I don't know when it'll happen. But I believe a president is going to die. He said that president is going to die, and then the female president is going. And then the, there's going to be a female president. And, hey, he said that long ago, man. Hey, let's see what happens, man. Hey, because it's all at the end of the day, it's all because at the end of the day, we all know Esau's predictive programming because it's all from Hollywood, man. Because Hollywood tells you ahead of time what they're getting ready to do, man. 
But don't be surprised, man, if they kill Trump or they kill Biden, man. And then all these pe and then all these people, they go nuts, man. And they lose it, man. To the point where they 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 gonna riot, they gonna they gonna do the do the riots again, man. And I wouldn't be even surprised if they roll out another pandemic, they roll out another George Floyd, and they and they do the same same riots that they did back in back in 2020, man. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised then. This is a shame, man. It's like I was scrolling. Uh -huh. I was just looking and I saw this Eve. You probably seen her on here. Uh -huh. You know, uh, it's just a, it's just crazy how like a lot in these last days, a lot of people just turn their old test into homies. Yep. You know, because now it's like this Eve right here. You know, she's talking about this is an idol. At first, she and she uh -huh. pretty, she just being tossed to and fro. You know, because at first she was believing, you know, and uh, you know the New Testament and all that, but now she to turn old test. She got to. She don't believe in Yahweh no more. She don't believe it. She condemned. Yeah, it's just condemned. It's crazy. It's like it's, <laughs> man, it's like a lot people of people. Are through, yeah, man. it's a it's a lot of sifting going on, man. That's why the scriptures say, you know, you gotta pray that the Lord don't take the spirit from you, because like it's a lot of sifting going on. You know, a lot of people that was on the right track, they ain't on the right track no more. You know, a lot of people that was in the truth, they didn't completely fill out. Yep. You know, and it's and like you see a lot of people are falling out because y'all hear Sakari and them or have left. You know, I mean, Nikki Hakai left and Hasai left. So it's a lot of stuff that's that's going on, man. You know. As a matter of fact, I think I got one more. A like Jerem, was it Isaiah? I think it was. Let me see. I think it was Isaiah seventeen and four, where it talks about creating that uh, government. <clears throat> Salaki, yeah, Salaki. People get some time. What question you say you looking for? Uh, at Jeremiah seventeen and four. Oh, no, 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 no. It was Isaiah 17 and 4. Salaki, Isaiah 17 and 4. He said, Isaiah 17 and 4, where it say, uh, and then that day shall come to pass that the glory of Jacob shall be made then? Or is it another one? I think it, yeah, let me see. Yeah, Salaki, Salaki. I was trying to get the one where it said, it's going to be a, a one world government. Oh, no, Isaiah 19 and 4. Okay. Yeah, Salaki. Yep, 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 Isaiah 19 and 4. Okay. This is Isaiah and Salakia, people. I was trying to get that scripture to where it's going to be a guy that's going to rule the basic they're gonna have rule this place basically, usher in that new world order, one world government. This is uh, Isaiah 19 and 4. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, said the most high. The Lord of hosts, okay? So this is the Heavenly Father telling it's going to be a cruel king, okay? He's I'm telling he's going to usher in cruel, cruel laws, man. When 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 he's in when they put him in place, man. Okay, to, to the point where because it was his Edomite, he was talking about how they was going to make super highways, right? And it was to a point where it was going to be, it was gonna cause, you know, turmoil. They was all gonna connect it from Canada to Mexico, and then they said it would shift the uh, legislation, like the the U.S. Constitution, and they would have to rewrite the U.S. Constitution again if it, if if it gets set up like that. Because now they are building a, a super highways actually, because um, in Michigan they're saying uh, on I-94 they're starting to build these uh you know the, the, the these the, these super highways, man. But see the the whole point is. You know, to, to to have that one guy ushering not only that one world government, but them 15 minute cities, man. Okay, and it's all going to be under Lucifer, like Alice A. Bailey told you, man. She she told you all the agendas to take away all the all that the Heavenly Father created that was right. And and they want to do the total opposite, man. And that's what they've done, man. Okay, that, that's yeah. exactly what they've done, man. And see, once that ruler comes in, that whether whether they kill off Biden and cause chaos, they're gonna have that that person rule, man. This place, man. Whether they do away with elections, it's gonna be that one ruler, man. Here in Babylon, and it's going to be, it's going to be crazy, man. Uh -huh. That's why, man, you gotta pray to the heavenly Father, man, that that He's with you, man. Okay, so that way you ain't gotta worry about it, man, because we all know. 
what this devil going to do, man. And we were saying, go do what you got to do, devil, man. Go ahead, man. Yep. We ain't scared. Honestly, man, we just, we ready for all these we things. We ready, happen, man. Because, you know, like, it's just that mass hump that we got to get over. And then after that, you know, Lord willing, we'll be at the elect. Lord willing, we'll be about it. And everything going to be set back in its right order. So going back to what we were saying earlier, you know, you should really be praying for the downfall of this place. Huh. You know, you should be praying for all types of atrocities that happen in America. You know, uh, for FEMA to be in the streets, you know, rounding people up. Yeah, killing that. people. You know, and you, the, well, no, that's lucky, like not killing people. Just rounding, but, but yeah, rounding, just people, rounding up, people up, you know, uh, throwing people in uh, FEMA camps and all that. You know, pretty much just praying for prophecy to be fulfilled because that's prophecy. Huh. You know, people going to be thrown in the FEMA camps and all that. And then know? people look at us and say, well, why would you want this? This was all through the Heavenly Father, huh. man. Okay? Yeah. We didn't want, the Heavenly Father wants it. Man. I mean, don't believe. Don't we be want it. We want it, but it's all through the Heavenly Father, man. Huh. It's so lucky. I didn't, I want to. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. But yeah, you know, we we want we do want these things to happen because you know once these things happen, these prophecies be fulfilled. Yeah, we can get the hell yeah, out of here. Yeah, we get here. up out of here. So going back to what we were saying earlier, you know, like Elder Gabar said, you know, you know pray say, to the heavenly yeah. Father daily to you know destroy this place, man. Yep, send up curses the, on this place. Send up curses, man, and des destroy all the wicked, man. Abide the ball, man. Uh -huh. Okay, and the brothers they send the uh, curses in Hebrew, and same for you, sincere sisters, man. You know, learn from your, you know, if you can, if you got a husband, you know, learn from him to, you know, say it, say it in the Hebrew to put up curses on this place, man. Because right. we want out, man. Yep. We we hate this place, man. We hate all these wicked people, man, that want to stay wicked, and that want to stay against the Heavenly Father, man. We hate Esau, Edom, and, and, and all these, these devils. We hate these antichrists like the uh, Alice A. Bailey, man. And we, we, we just want out, man. And we want this place to be destroyed. We want the Heavenly Father to send his son and the death angels, man. That's that's what we want. Because one thing you go one thing you'll notice whenever we get delivered, the people that get delivered is always the ones that sign and cry. You know, even you know, when you look at uh uh Lot, you know, it's a uh, he was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. You know, uh when you look at uh us in ancient uh Egypt, you know, we we was pretty much we cried out. You know, we was vexed and all that. We was delivered. You know, going back to what I just said about Lot. You know, he was vexed. You know, and he, uh, the Lord, he delivered Lot and his family out of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, except his wife. Because, you know, his wife ultimately looked back like like they was commanded not to do. You know, she looked back and she's pretty much turned into that pillar of salt. You know, but point being, Lot was vexed. He was upset about the things that he was seeing in that place. Huh. He was delivered. You know? And the angels told him. What was going to happen? Y'all going to be delivered, but don't look back. Heavenly Father is going to burn this place with fire, man. Time. You know, and when you read Ezekiel chapter 9, you know, I'm probably not going to get it because I bring it out all the time, but when you read that chapter, it talks about, you know, those uh, angels, they was told to go through the midst of the city and place that uh, mark of exemption on the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for the abominations that was done in that particular city. You know, and those those were the particular people that would escape the judgment. But those that did not have that, Mark, they was destroyed. And guess what? They wasn't the ones that were signing and crying. Huh. So when you look around at these people out here, they don't want the sign. Exactly. They, they, if these yeah. gonna be these gonna be the same people that's gonna line up for the chip, man. When yep. Esau rolls out, when Esau tells them, if, if you want to participate in society, if you want to feed your family, you want to feed your your friends, then all you gotta do is take the chip. Huh. Yep. That and that's what they're gonna do, man. All the people that Satan that blinded, they're gonna end up taking the chip. Just right. like they took the the, the, the stuff, man. Yep. They're gonna they're gonna be first in line to take the chip, man. Alright. Oh, it's lucky. Oh man. Be. It's lucky. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a better spot. Come. Because like every time we come over here, you know, it's like it's a mess of uh, wasps right up there, I believe. Yep. You know, they yeah, just they, get to they, flying they, around. Yeah, they be swarming. Yeah, kind. Got anything else or yeah, I think that's pretty much that on that. You know, like I said about Ezekiel chapter 9, man. You know, those that didn't have that mark of exemption, they was the ones that was destroyed. And they they wasn't signed and crying. So you know, it's best to be signed and crying and praying for the downfall of Babylon the Great. Because if you are, you know, that's a good indicator that, you know, you could be of the elect. Huh. You know, you could very much so be of the elect. You know, so uh, that's pretty much that on that. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, that pretty much concludes this lesson. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, brothers. And hey, you sisters out there that scattered to the four corners of the earth. 
And as always, we want to give all praises, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone. And shalom to you, brothers that's out there pushing the truth. And it's sincerity. Shalom. Bob.